In the history of El Salvador, there is a woman pioneer in health and social research. Beyond the borders of her own country, her contributions to medicine, public health, and the contribution for women's rights have caught the attention of multiple governments and universities around the world. All these achievements belong to Dr. Maria Isabel Rodriguez, the first woman minister of health in El Salvador, who has published more than a hundred articles on science and education throughout her career. At the State University, she was chosen Dean of the Faculty of Medicine as well as Rector, being the first woman in charge of these positions. She managed to deepen multiple techniques of knowledge and development in the teaching of medicine. Her academic contribution to our country is remarkable. She has received at least 12 recognition as Dr. Honoris Causa from different universities in America. For over 20 years, she was part of the Pan American Health Organization. She developed multiple social and health programs that help different communities around Latin America. These programs were mostly held in Mexico, Cuba, Venezuela, and many other countries. Thus, she was able to lead a profound reform of the health system in our country. The first real transformation of the Salvadoran health system is because of her hard work throughout the years. We can definitely agree that she played a big role in the history of our country and many others. Even though there are many things to improve in El Salvador's educational system up to date, we cannot deny that it's thanks to her knowledge and capacity of teaching medicine that has taken our country to a more scientific system and prepared for new generations to come. Maria was born in the Concepcion neighborhood of San Salvador. Her mother's name was Concepcion Rodriguez, but apart from her mother, Maria was also raised by Isabel and Elena. Her father's name is unknown, and it is only known that he was a lawyer and that he had married an aunt of her three mothers. Her three mothers supported the household financially with the help of the income they obtained through a little shop in the La Vega neighborhood of the capital. Maria went to public school at the age of 8 and at the age of 15 she entered the General Francisco Menendez National Institute. Going to high school was so difficult because the high school was co-education and her family didn't agree with it. So Maria applied for admission on the slide and when she was accepted there was an argument at home. Finally, at the age of 20, in 1842, she began her medical career and it is from there that she began to set several important precedents as a Salvadoran woman. Over time, Maria has experienced several historical events of the last century. In El Salvador, she experienced the sit down strike of 1844 that put an end to the dictatorship of Maximiliano Hernandez Martinez. By then, she was a third year medical student and trafficked ammunition. After the military intervention at the University of El Salvador in 1872 that forced Maria to emigrate. And in the Civil War, what was the role of Maria Isabel? During the 1817s and the 1818s, thanks to Pan American Health Organization, she had a diplomatic passport that allowed her to travel throughout the region without question, without records. And she recounts the wanderings of that travel time with naturalness, as if she had nothing to regret. She believes, however, that it's not yet time for the country to know that stay of her life. In the international context, in the short time she was married, she went with her husband the push orchestrated against the president of Chile at that time, who was Salvador Allende. She did not leave the first world war because she was born four years later, but the second world war while she was studying her career. At 98 years old, Dr. Maria Salvador Rodriguez is one of the most prominent and successful Salvadorians in Salvador and Latin America. During her professional career, she has left a deep mark from her academic contribution in cardiovascular physiology and for transforming the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Salvador. Rodriguez has also been a promoter of social medicine and medical teacher training from the Pan American Health Organization. She has been a protagonist on the reconstruction of the University of Salvador in the post-war period and she has played a clear role in health reform in El Salvador. In 1967, Rodriguez held the position of the first dean of medicine at the University of El Salvador, from where she led the faculty to high levels of scientific development of international recognition. While the war was going through a bad time due to the Cold War, 
the first event that triggered the civil war began in El Salvador. By the 1970s, military intervention interrupted the academic training of the U.S., and Rodriguez was forced to flee to Washington, D.C., where she began working at the Pan American Health Organization. From that organization, she promoted the International Health Program. In 1994, she returned to El Salvador and returned to her alma mater as a medical master to promote the master's degree in public health. In 1999, with 70% of the vote, Rodriguez was once again a pioneer when she was elected as the first rector in 180 years of the history of the University of El Salvador. In 2009, Rodriguez was part of the first government of the FNLN, once again being a pioneer when she was named the first health minister in the history of the country. Without a doubt, Maria Isabel Rodriguez is one of the most illustrious Salvadorian women in history who has left her legacy in El Salvador and throughout the continent. So as to talk about the impact that Dr. Maria Isabel has caused, we should start evoking the fact that she is a great role model of female empowerment in El Salvador, in a society where women were thought to not be able to perform certain professions and their work was not appreciated enough, she broke down some barriers and stereotypes. Even when she was discouraged from studying medicine, never did she abandon her goals, and some years after, she became the first ever female doctor in El Salvador graduating with honors. She was also a political woman, which combined with her intelligence and courageousness, led her to serve as dean of the faculty of medicine. Being the first woman in El Salvador and Central America to hold such an important position, some years later, she proved her intelligence and capacity again when she was named rector of the University of El Salvador, where she did an incredible and valuable work. In recent years, specifically in 2009, she stood out as the first woman to hold the position of Minister of Health in El Salvador. Despite all the suffering she went through due to discrimination about her age, never did she desist from her work to make possible the reform to the health system. Besides the impact she caused with her great fight for women's rights, we can also mention her contribution to the medical science and health. Thanks to such contributions, she has been awarded many times and she is internationally recognized as a pioneer of public health in El Salvador. She caused a noteworthy positive impact in the society and changed the way in which women are seen. For many Salvadorans, becoming a recognized person or succeed in such a troubled country seems to be an inconceivable goal. It has been a cruel reality breaking people's dreams throughout generations. Being the most complicated age in the civil war, where thousands of lives were lost and a thousand more dreams did not come true. It is in that age where we find Maria Isabel Rodriguez, a woman who overcame social and economic barriers, survived a bloody war and fought to follow her dreams. Not only did she have success, but also became the first symbol of female empowerment in our country. Maria Isabel Rodriguez graduated with honors from the University of El Salvador to become the first ever female doctor in our country. Besides that, her intellect was so astonishing that she was hired at the very same university. For some people in that age, to think of a female doctor teaching in such university was something not to believe. But Maria Isabel Rodriguez was not just a woman. She was a woman with courage and a purpose to make remarkable changes in the education and health system. Therefore, she participated in several programs to develop the levels of education in universities and schools in our countries. She promoted reforms and investigations which led the scientific knowledge to a different level in that age, particularly in the medicine field. In 2009, at 87 years old, our beloved Maria Isabel Rodriguez was not done yet, and she showed us that her intellect and strength 
was as still as young as a flower in the morning when she became the health minister and the first government of the political party FMLN. Without any doubt, Maria Isabel Rodriguez left a legacy hard to be forgotten. Her investigations and knowledge served as a stone to set the basis of a new era in the scientific and medicine field for our country.